All right, so I'm going to show y'all some of the stuff that I have in my cabinet um, and go through the different herbs and stuff. I won't be going through all of the uses and purpose of everything, but I'll be showing you some. So um, first, this is some red brick dust. Um, good for protection and great things like that. I won't go into it, but I have red brick dust for when I need to make some stuff. Um, these jars, I know I'm going to get those, uh, questions, the small jars like this with the little latch on it, they came from Michael's. I think this was like a dollar 49, but red brick dust. I made my own labels. I have, of course, some dead sea salt, some regular sea salt. So this is for like, if I'm mixing certain baths or soaks or different stuff, um, protection stuff, I'll use different salts. This is Epsom salt. Now, mind you, I just refilled all my bottles and all my jars. So yeah. This is sage, regular sage. Um, I wish I had like a, here, come smell. Hmm, smell. Smell. Yeah, smell, smell good. But that's sage. I have some motherworth. Um, I have bay leaves. I have rosemary. And yes, I do recycle jars. If you look at this, this used to be an old like salsa thing, so. Yes, I clean them very well, cleanse them in their store because why would I throw them away if I need them? So yeah, bay leaves, some rosemary. I have red clover, some passion flower. I have Damiana, like Tatiana, but not Tatiana, is Damiana, okay? Um, I have oregano. This is so good. Then I have some blue sage, like the loose blue sage. Love that. Um, I have Palo Santo. If you can look, I have some chips, like some small chips. But then I have some larger pieces at the top. This is Palo Santo. And then, let me show you this. I have this big thing of white sage. Um, some of them are branches. Let me see. Oh, let's see. Like some are like this. Um, different ones. So like you could just burn just these. But you basically, how they make the sage bundles, they use a whole bunch of these and wrap them up and then tie them up. But yeah, I have a lot of loose sage. A lot of loose white sage. That's crazy. It feels like my glass has like a dent in it. I never realized that. It feels like, but you may be able to see it. It's like right here. That's interesting. Um, so that's on my top shelf. Then um, this shelf in the back, I have some yarrow. Yarrow. I have some catnip. Yes, catnip is really good. Love some catnip. And then I have some whorehound. Whorehound. Let's see. What else I have? Oh. It's not much in here, but this is like Rosa Jericho. Like a little bit like the dust from the Rosa Jericho. And you can see some parts of the Rosa Jericho in there. This is peppermint. I can look at it and tell. But see, this used to be a juice. And I used this bottle to store my peppermint. Just took the label and stuff off of it. Sorry for the loud noise from the wood and the glass. Some dandelion. This is the dandelion um, leaf. You can get dandelion root, but this is the dandelion leaf. And then I have some jasmine, of course. I just filled this up because my jasmine was empty, but I had to fill that up. I had to refill it. And then I have this rose. Now, I should definitely have a big old thing of rose like this, like this size, I should have a rose because I use rose often, but um, I started putting my rose in here already, and I just, hey, whatever. And then, look at these. Can you guess what jar this was? Y'all, it's going to bother me that these are up here, so um, I'm just going to put these back <laughs> really quick. Um, but what jar? This is a pickle jar. TJ loves pickles. We both love pickles, but 
CJ could eat like a whole jar of pickles in like one, two days. But I have some calendula, also known as marigold. This is some chamomile. Real nice. Um, lavender. I should also have a really big thing of lavender. But look how pretty it is. I have two different lavenders in here, as you can see. The really dark one and then that one. Let's see. Let's take a sniff of lavender. Oh, it smells. It smells so good. I love lavender. Oh, I have some more salts. So I have a pink salt here. And then I have a red salt. And then I have a black salt. So basically all the salts that we carry as health vibes, I already have. So black salt and red salt. Um, these are not herbs, but I'm storing it up here because of the bottle it's in. Look at this. This is black tourmaline. Basically the bottom of black tourmaline because sometimes it cracks and stuff. But it's like the sand of black tourmaline. <laughs> Listen. Listen. I got some bigger pieces in here, but not that big. But majority of it is the sand. So when I use some of my red brick dust, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of these, the sand from the box. I'm not even gonna tell y'all. But yes, black tourmaline. This is a black tourmaline bottle. I don't know why I didn't label it. I guess because none of my other crystals are labeled. Um now some smaller jars. These are so cute. I love how small these jars are. And they latch on and they this is mugworth. Mugworth. I know we had motherwort, motherwort, but this is mugworth. And then you have cloves, which uh, some of this stuff you may have in your kitchen already, like cloves, cinnamon, thyme, oregano. So, look, you can already do your juju and stuff from your kitchen. Cinnamon. Then I got some thyme. Funny story, my my little sister, to be funny, she was like, thyme. She's like, do you want some thyme? But it's time. Um, but yeah, so secret is if you get the pumpkin pie spices um, during like the holiday time, it's cinnamon, nutmeg, and I think um, allspice maybe? I know it's cinnamon and nutmeg, and it may be nut, uh, allspice. But yeah, that's a little money blend right there, okay? So, yes. Oh, did I show y'all the cinnamon? This is cinnamon. I have some cinnamon. I have another mugworth because I thought that all the mugworth I had in a bag was going to fit, but it didn't fit. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll do two jars. Um, I have rue. Rue is good. I should have a big thing of rue. But rue, I love some rue. Love me some rue. I got some lemongrass. Lemongrass. I got some angelica rue. Now, angelica rue. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, agrimony and eucalyptus. Here's some agrimony and eucalyptus. And two of my last. Well, I got some more stuff down there that I'll show y'all. I got some St. John's work and some hyssop. Hyssop and root is the deal, okay? Now, this is that shelf. Let me show y'all this shelf down here, okay? Now, I have this big old thing right here. This is Rosa Jericho water. This was the first batch of Rosa Jericho water. When I first soaked the Rosa Jericho, that's why it's so dark like this. If I cleaned my Rosa Jericho now, it wouldn't be dark like this. But um, this is Rosa Jericho water that I have and I store. Um, I don't have to pull all this out, but I have some Bacardi Gold. I have some Smirnoff Vodka, and then I have some Cruzan. This is um, Age Rum. This is a high proof rum. Um, this is 40% proof um, rum. So I am not drinking all of this stuff. This is for when I make different herbal mixtures, like for my tinctures and um, different things in my apothecary, but yes. Um, that is that. This is some aloe vera. If you can see this. Aloe vera. Which is good for different stuff for the skin and hair. Vitamin E oil, which is really good for the um, skin. But 
This is really expensive, vitamin E oil, and it's a good preservative for other oils. Um, I have some glycerin, so if I make some herbal tinctures and I, I'm trying to make it kid-friendly or I don't want to put alcohol, I'll use some vegetable glycerin. This is pure rose water I have. Now, these two oils, yes, I had to sit down for. This is an oil I made. This is a love, attraction, and affection oil. I still have not drained it um, or strained it, rather. Um, the herbs are still in there. And let me tell you, it worked. I'm about to... I'm about to put some on right now. I'm about to go ahead and just lather me up. Yes. This is love, affection, and some little extra mm, mm, mm. Okay, I ain't gonna say it, but I got some breath. Mm-hmm. I love using this. Um, I made this during the Scorpio full moon, okay? And then this, I also made during the Scorpio full moon. This is a good cleansing and removing oil. Um, yeah, cleansing and removing. I ain't gotta say much about that. I don't know what I want to show y'all first. So, no, I'll show y'all Hydron. I got some Hydron root. Like Hydron the Conqueror. But a root, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. If you can see them, that is Hydron root. Um, yeah. I won't tell you too much about it. Do your research. Um, I got some shredded money, people. Shredded money. You see it? Obviously, if you want to have the frequency of money in some sort of ritual or something, you use some shredded money. Look at it. Oh, I'm dropping some on my floor. That's all right. I mean, money about to be flowing and dropping and raining in on me. That's all right. Um, here's a hint. If you, not a hint, a free tip. If you are close by a uh, Federal Reserve and you do the tour at the end of their tour, They'll give you free shredded money, okay? Bags of it. Get it. How about you get some and send me some, okay? Um, now I have some lodestones. Uh, these are magnetic stones. I don't want to pull them out because they were very dirty. Um, and I had got my hands very dirty and I, yeah. But yeah, at the bottom I have a gold, a silver, and a green one, as you can see. And then I have a smaller natural one that is right there. And then I have a red one. Can you see the red one? Let's see. I'm sure you can. The red one right there. And then I have this really big one right here of the lodestone. And that's how you spell it. Lodestone. And you can probably see the magnetic sand on it. These are stones that are magnetic. Yep, you see the stuff that look like hair? That's actually sand. Magnetic sand. Um... And then, of course, I have magnetic sand. This is the natural color magnetic sand. And then I have some silver magnetic sand. And I have some gold magnetic sand. They all serve a different purpose, obviously, because of the color. So I won't go too much into that. I normally teach that in the Vibe Tribe, so if you're not there, go join. I teach different rituals and stuff like that and how to use this stuff in the Vibe Tribe. Um, and then I have some books down here. This is different stuff that I have in here about herbs. This is like a notebook where I could take notes or if I need to write down a ritual and I like the little clipboard. I got this from, I think, TJ Maxx. Um, and I love that it had the plants on it. Look at it. I was like, yep, right up my alley. And this is like a Soulful Vibes book that I write in too. Okay, so that is this side. Okay, let's see. This side, don't mind my ring light, but let's see. Um, I got big old things of massage oil because um, I use it as a base for different oils. This, yes, I got this big old thing of aloe vera. Don't judge me, judge your mama. It's a big old thing, okay? It is good for a hair mist, face mist. It's good for a lot. Then I have this big old thing. I won't pull it out. This is a gallon, yeah, a gallon of uh, molasses. Uh, molasses, I'm not going to tell you what I use it for. But, yeah, I use molasses in certain things. So I have this big old thing of molasses. And then I have this thing of honey. 
Um, this is 96 ounces, 7 pounds. A gallon is normally, I think, 7 to 8 pounds, but I know this isn't a gallon. And this is pure honey, ingredients honey. You got to be careful because sometimes it'll say honey blend, honey syrup blend. This is pure honey, okay? So, yeah. And then, I'm not going to show y'all this stuff one by one, but I have, like, a mortar and pester, pestle, a uh, um, funnel. I got some smaller funnels, right? Smaller funnels when I need to pour in bottles. These are metal measuring spoons. I got a herb grinder. Let me show you. No, I use this to grind my herbs for my magical and medicinal purpose. But not med Okay, look. I use this here. I don't use this to grind anything but the stuff I use to make products. So, look. Yes. And you put it, the herbs in there and then chop it up real small. Okay. I got some wooden spoons, some bowls. And down here, I won't give y'all the story, but I have some bottles. More glass jars, more glass bottles for me to store different things in. Um, this is the white Hennessy bottle. Okay? Yes. So, I'll be using it one day. There's some more wine glasses in the back. And then I have a scale. I have a scale. And then this is different towels. And I have a cheesecloth. Like some cheesecloth to strain my oils and different stuff. Um... Yeah, that is what I have. Um, this stuff, I won't really show y'all this. Like, I won't open the jar, I mean the boxes and show y'all. But let me see. Yeah, these are fragrances I have. Different herbs. This is a hundred different herbs. So, these are herbs that are in small containers. Not containers, small packaging. Um, so I won't show y'all each one, but I have some more like I have in here. I have um, I have some like catnip and stuff, but I also have like cat claws, peach leaves. I have um, marshmallow leaf. I have raspberry leaf. So I have more um, more of the least popular, the less popular herbs in here. And then in here I have different crystals and crystal sands, kind of like the black tourmaline. But I have different ones in here. And then these are different jars. I mean, jars and things I collected or bought to store different things in. This is what I'll be putting candles in. I have like some rollers. So when I make different stuff, and I think I just walked, broke my thing. When I make different stuff, I have different containers. And then here is different soap bases, butter bases, micas. Um... I have different salts, uh, not salts, I have different clays in here. I have some molds for different soaps. Um, I have like cornstarch, I have butters. I have basically everything that you would need to make soaps, candles, butters, or any other like skin stuff, that's all in here. Yeah, so that is a tour of my magical apothecary. Uh, well, this isn't all of the stuff, but this is the stuff that I have in my office. And I have incense and candles and all of that stuff. But this is like the herbs and stuff that people wanted to see. The stuff I use. So, here we are. So, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more about this or what exactly you want to see. And let me know if you have any of this and how you use it. And if you got some shredded money, send me some. Um, but, until we meet again, I'll see y'all later. And if nobody told you today, guess what? I love you. Bye.